Hello and welcome to episode one and week one of my summer practice journal series. If you haven't had a chance to go check out my most recent video on why I'm doing this series, then go ahead and check out that now. Otherwise, let's hop into this week. So today is Monday, May 20th and the start of a new week. About a week ago, I moved back to Dallas, Texas where I'll be staying for the summer. I really haven't touched the saxophone since I've been back and that was quite intentional. Breaks like these usually help build up motivation again to play the instrument after a long and stressful semester. And I can say it definitely has worked. I'm ready to get back to it and ready to get on the grind. Since one of my overarching goals for the summer is to learn how to double tongue fluently, one of my goals for this week is to double tongue 16s consistently at 60 BPM. In terms of etudes this week, I'm going to be working on Laporte 16 and I want to be able to perform it at 112 by the end of the week. Another overarching goal I have for the summer is to learn one military band excerpt per week. And so this week I'll be working on the Molly on the Shore excerpt in the Coast Guard Band audition packet. In terms of repertoire, I'm still working on ordering a few things, but for this week I'm going to learn the movement one of Tableau, and I'm going to try and get that to 120 BPM. When thinking of struggles I'm going to have this week, it's quite obvious that my muscles are going to be tired pretty quickly since I haven't done a lot of playing over the last few weeks, but I hope to start slow and build up the time that I'm playing the instrument. I also set pretty tall goals in terms of material being learned this week. My plan is to start at really slow tempos and work on quality over quantity. The double tonguing really shouldn't be that bad since I've done some double tonguing work um, in the past, but these uh, liqueur etudes usually kick my butt. We'll see what happens. So I usually start off most days with mouthpiece exercises. It usually helps my face get warmed up and my tongue position correct before I get into my actual practice session. Today I decided I would start things off with some long tones. I then headed over to working on some harmonic minor scales, which I hadn't touched in a while. One of my goals for the summer is to find a good system um, for working through all the different scales I know in a one-week period. As you can hear, I really struggle with keeping the air going while I hit the back syllable. I then began working on Lacour number 16, which is where I left off at the end of this last semester. The max tempo for this one is 144, but my goal this week is 112, so we'll see if I get there. I think I started around 80, and this one's in 12.8. I'm not really sure what happened to the audio for this next clip, but at the end of this session, I ended up working on the first page of the first movement of Tableau. I started around 80 BPM and was just working through some of the tougher licks on the first page. Since this was day one back on the horn, I didn't want to spend too much time practicing, but I got through what I wanted to get done in a timely manner. Now on to Tuesday. Today I started things off the same as yesterday, with some mouthpiece pitch Remingtons. Again, I really just like this exercise because it gets the muscles warmed up and my chops feel really good afterwards.
this is sonority number one from the 28 day warm up book originally written for flute. Each exercise starts off with a motif and then it is transposed into every single key. I like to use these exercises to work on keeping my air pushing forward through the phrase. When I came back to practice for the evening, my dad was unfortunately on a work call, so I wasn't able to fully play the horn. I instead just put a little bit of air through the instrument and was doing some silent practice with a metronome. I started working on Lacour 16, getting a little bit farther and learning some of the notes. This was a good opportunity for me to write down some fingerings. I then went on to work through more of Tableau Movement 1. I was really just trying to get through the rest of it today and build up the tempo on page one from what I'd worked on on Monday. Today I started off the day with voicing Remingtons on Palm D. I would first play the actual note that I wanted to go down to and then voice it all the way down to that note. I then went on to another sonority. I really like starting off my practice sessions with these. For some reason, again, I lost the audio for this next clip. I'm still trying to get through all of the kinks with my audio and video for this new setup now that I'm back home. For the rest of the practice session, I went ahead and learned the rest of LaCour 16 and sped up the rest of what I did the last two days. I then went on to play Tableau Movement 1. I, at this point, have learned the whole thing, all of the notes, all of the rhythms, and all of the musicality dynamic things. So right now I'm just working on getting up the tempo and working out the kinks and some of the licks. Today I started off the day with some drone work. I had the pitch set to A and was just trying to tune my saxophone. I had just got my cork redone on my neck, so I wasn't really sure where concert A sat. This cork is quite a bit longer than my one before, so I have a lot of cork showing for my saxophone to be in tune. I went on to work through all of my melodic minor scales. Again, I need to find a system for me to go through all of my different scales in a shorter amount of time. But as of right now, I'm just reviewing all of the scales that I know. I then continued to work on Lacour number 16. It's sitting in my fingers pretty well so far, and I think that's due to the slow work that I put in towards the beginning of the week. There's some tricky licks in here, but it's definitely not the hardest liqueur etude that I've played. Once I was done with the little core, I went on to Somali on the Shore. This excerpt's pretty tricky just because a lot of it's very short and the style is the most important thing. 
there's so many different articulation markings and being able to differentiate them is the most important thing. I'd say this is definitely the hardest lick in the whole first movement. It's at the bottom of the second page and the start of the third. I put a lot of work into this lick today, and it definitely paid off as you can see. This exercise is a vocalise out of the Chops first edition book. I really like going through these, it's nice to sort of sight read them every time you look at them. It goes through a bunch of different keys and it just gets your brain thinking. On to some more double tonguing work. I think this sounds pretty good for a week. It's a little bit easier as you get faster, but then my dexterity goes down. I then went on to grind this lick out of the liqueur 16. It's the same motif, it just gets transposed into a, a different key center every beat. And then we get up here into the alto and it gets really tricky. And then as per usual, I hopped into movement one of Tableau. I'm really starting to enjoy this piece and I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to play it any time before now. Starting to pick up the tempo, I think it was past 100 at this point, maybe 104. It was starting to feel good under the fingers and most of the licks were pretty solid. I really think that as long as I figure out what fingerings I want to use towards the beginning, my muscle memory can help me out as I speed the tempo up. After starting with some mouthpiece pitches to warm up, I went through a little warm-up I created in a studio class as per Calvin's request. These octave leaps are meant to go through the pentatonic scale and help you out with some of the licks and larson. Today, since it was Sunday, I wanted to relax a little bit and so I went through some major scales. I then headed over to the Chops book like I did yesterday and went through another vocalese exercise. I like this one and I chose it because I wanted to work on some vibrato. I like these because it requires you to land and start the vibrato instantly. After this I went ahead and ran Lacour 16. I actually surpassed my goal of 112 BPM and made it to 120. At this point, my fingers were kind of on edge, and this was sort of my breaking point. But I'm really glad and proud of myself for the work I put in on this this week, and it's good to be able to play something all the way through pretty much perfectly. Thank you. 
then went ahead and ran through a chunk of the Molly on the Shore excerpt. I feel like my style's coming along. The tempo's a little bit slow, but I feel like I accomplished a lot on this and know the excerpt pretty much back to front now. To end the day, I went ahead and did a full run of Tableau Movement 1 at 120 BPM. Not quite full tempo yet, but I'm really proud of the work that I did on this this week, and I think it's in a really good place. I've now finished my first full week of my summer practice journal, and I'm happy to say that I completed all of my goals for the week. I made some good progress double tonguing. I finished LaCour 16. I went through the Molly on the Shore military band excerpt, and I completed all of movement one of Tableau. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my process throughout the week. If you have any suggestions for me, please leave them down below in the comments and go ahead and like and subscribe while you're down there. I can't wait to get started again tomorrow. Peace.